Hello! So let's talk about books. So as an English major, I read a lot, but that also means that I don't read a lot of the stuff that I want to read. I read the required books for my course, which are interesting, but that does mean that I have a large list of books that are on my backlog that I want to eventually read. So today I thought I would talk about those books. And there are too many of them, so I'm just going to talk about the first couple ones on my list. So as many of you guys know, I went through a big King Arthur phase. And that phase is still around and it's still going within me. So the first book on my backlog is a book that I have gotten more than halfway through, but it's just because school started that I stopped reading it. But it's The Once and Future King, which is like a modern kind of take on the King Arthur story, or it's still set in the time of King Arthur and his knights, but the person who wrote it is modern fantasy and it's kind of more geared, the style of writing is geared more towards children, I would say. Like, you could definitely read the first section of the book, which is The Sword and the Stone. You could definitely read that to your child. So that's the first one on my backlog, but also, Coming up very close as a second is another King Arthur book, which is The Death of King Arthur, the French version by Mallory. Now, when I first bought this version from Moe's Used Books, I was not really conscious or I, it didn't process for some reason that this book is going to be in translation. So I just bought a generic translation and I wasn't really thinking about it, but after I did become aware of that, I am very interested in translation and who has the best translation. So I was looking it up and I found that Steinbeck actually was really interested in King Arthur and his knights and the last thing that he was working on before he died was a translation. So I bought this, which is John Steinbeck's unfinished translation of The Death of Arthur. And it's unfinished because he unfortunately passed away before he could finish it. But I actually really like this version because I read John Steinbeck's author's note at the beginning. And it's actually really cute because he wrote his author's note in regular English. But then he also wrote it in what looks to me like some kind of middle English. But I'm not really sure and I don't want to say for sure in case there are any intense English majors watching. But basically, they have his author's note in the Middle English. Hopefully you guys can see that. And he signed it, John Steinbeck of Monterey, which I thought was really funny. So basically, I'm really excited to read this translation because Steinbeck also wrote East of Eden, which is one of my favorite books. And I can tell by the author's note that Steinbeck was a really big fan of the tales and he had a lot of excitement and kind of boyish wonder when he was reading them as a child so hopefully I hope that that transfers into his translation and from the reviews that I've read it does. So basically that's my series of King Arthur things on my backlog. So the next thing on my list is another classic which is Dante's Inferno. Now my really good friend and intellect and medievalist classicist recommended this specific translation to me. Another cool thing about this edition is that it's a bilingual edition. So it has the original Italian verse on one side and then it has the English on the other. So eventually if I ever take Italian then I would be able to cross-reference it and see how great of a translator Robert Pinsky really is. But I'm excited to read this, and I've started a little bit of it, but again, I don't have time, or I haven't had time to read the whole thing. So, the next thing on the backlog is Lord of the Rings. Just finished the Lord of the Rings series. I've already started it, but I haven't finished it yet. I am a big fan of fantasy novels, and I really love Tolkien's writing style. So that's definitely number one on my more pop cultured part of the list. Now after Lord of the Rings is something similar, it's Game of Thrones. So everyone is always saying that I should watch Game of Thrones because it's really good and I'm sure that HBO does a really good job with Game of Thrones, but I watched Lord of the Rings first and now I really regret not having read the books first. So this time I'm going to try to change it and I'm definitely going to make sure to read 
Game of Thrones first and then watch the TV show. So the last thing that I'm going to talk about for the backlog is something that Caroline has made fun of me and chastised me for for many years. And it's also been on my backlog for many years, but it's always kind of been in the middle and not at the top and not at the bottom. So as I'm sure you might have guessed, it is the Harry Potter series. Yes, I am one of the rare people in the world who has yet to read Harry Potter and who still calls themselves a fantasy fan. So, unfortunately, I have also already seen all of the Harry Potter movies, so I kind of know most of what happens, similar to what I was talking about with Lord of the Rings. But, nevertheless, I will still endeavor to read the Harry Potter series, and hopefully I will enjoy it as much as it seems everyone else does. So, that was my backlog. I also have a television show backlog, a movie backlog, a manga backlog, an anime backlog, and a video game backlog. Hopefully you found my backlog of interest. I like hearing about people's backlogs, but anyway, I hope you're having a good April, and I'll see you tomorrow.